As a cycling advocate, Ira Cruz often bikes along the Pasig River. It's a main body of water that stretches nearly 30 kilometers and spans five cities within the Philippines' capital region. While it's clearly polluted, Ira doesn't think it's dead. I see a lot of people hanging out uh, in this area. Uh, and then even on weekends, you see people uh, fishing. Whether or not it's dead, it's serving a purpose. In 2021, a global study found Pasig River carried the most plastic waste reaching the ocean from rivers. While small parks and historical landmarks line the river's banks, so do informal communities and industries. They produce waste, where people used to bathe and wildlife thrived. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. believes the river is worth saving. He's unveiled a master plan he says will rehabilitate the waterway and develop areas around it to boost trade and tourism and the quality of life for millions of people. There have been many efforts to clean up the Pasig River over the years, but this $35 million dredging project is one of the biggest operations to date, and it hopes to complement the government's plan. San Miguel is one of the country's biggest conglomerates. It's undertaking the years-long endeavor, and at no cost to the government. At the moment, we are almost complete in uh, cleaning up the river. We have uh, removed uh, about 1.4 million metric tons of silt and waste. But critics have expressed doubts over the company's intentions. San Miguel has also proposed building a major road over the waterway. You know, when you look at the population of Metro Manila, like 96 percent of, of Filipino households don't own um, don't own private cars, and so you're talking about the four percent. You're sealing the fate of a river, uh, compromising environmental concerns, uh, compromising heritage, compromising communities for the four percent. The Department of Human Settlement and Urban Development heads the Pasig River Rehabilitation Committee, and says the road isn't part of its plan. With both projects still years in the making. People here can only wait to see how saving this river is going to change their environment. Barney Below, Al Jazeera, Manila. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.